welcome to Jewelry 101, created by Jewelry Forever. Using these tools today, we're going to distinguish if a stone is man-made or genuine. Now, first we want to start off with the reflectometer. Using this reflectometer, you place the stone on the blank strip. Now, you want to nod your head back and forth, and there is a ruler-type device in here. With this device, you want to make sure that your stone is landing somewhere between 1.762 to 1.770. If it's off, it's either not a sapphire or not a genuine stone. Next, using a polariscope, we're able to determine if it's glass or a genuine stone. Glass has a single reflection when you turn the stone. This one has a double reflection. This is a genuine sapphire. With the spectroscope, we're able to determine if the stone is an actual sapphire. If you place the stone right in the middle, and using the angstrom units, which is similar to a rainbow type strip, if it lines up correctly, your stone is a genuine sapphire. The last tool that we use would be the magnifying of 40 to see if it has the rutile needles that show a silky shine. This stone is also a genuine sapphire. Now sapphires are from the corundum group and they have a hardness of 9, similar to that of rubies, which are also in the corundum group. And 9 is only second to diamond. So sapphires are an amazing stone. Thank you so much for letting us show you this tutorial.